Welcome back to Trends Recapper. In this video, I am going to expose the dark secrets of an 18-year-old high school girl who's obsessed with her teacher. He's the father of her best friend, and she just can't seem to get him out of her head. Stay tuned for some pretty shocking revelations that are sure to make you think twice about your own relationships. At the beginning of the movie, a janitor has just finished cleaning the floor and is getting ready to leave. He hears a noise and goes to find out what it is. He sees a scared girl sitting on the floor and runs to get help, but then he ran into another girl who told him to get away. Kyla is taking pictures of everyone in school for the yearbook. She sees Chris, who is their new English teacher, and she is interested in him. Trisha, a popular girl at school, sees Chris and thinks she can get him to fall in love with her in two days. In their first class, everyone is excited about their new English teacher, especially the girls. Almost right away, Chris becomes every girl's new crush. Trisha doesn't waste any time after class before she starts flirting with Chris. On the other side, Kyla goes to her usual hangout spot and sees Riley there. She talks to Riley about herself. Riley shakes hands with Kyla and then tells her that her dad is Chris. After Kyla and Riley became friends, Kyla asked Riley if she could study at Riley's house because she wanted to be closer to Chris. After that, we can see that Kyla's becoming more interested in Chris because she takes more photos of him. When she gets home, her mother is getting ready to go out with a man. She also notices that her mother bought a new dress for the date. At night, Kyla thinks about Chris and does things that make her happy. She goes to Riley's house the next day. She doesn't wait long before she starts asking Riley about her father. Riley tells her that her mother cheated on Chris, which led to them getting a divorce and moving to a new place. Then Kyla tells Riley that her dad left her when she was only six years old. When Riley goes to the bathroom, Kyla goes straight to Chris's room and tries to picture herself with him. Trisha is still trying to charm Chris at school the next day. She flirts with him, but Chris, who is old-fashioned, doesn't get her messages. When class is over, Trisha goes to Riley's house and makes friends with her. Kyla gets angry when she sees them together. She tells Riley that Trisha is dangerous and that she is crazy about Chris. Kyla tells Trisha that she has a history of messing around with teachers. The year before, she slept with a history teacher, which caused him to be replaced for a whole year by another teacher. Later that day, Kyla calls Riley and finds out that Riley will be 18 soon. So, Kyla tells her that she should have a birthday party at her house, and Kyla will help her get as many people as possible to come. She then changes the subject to Chris and asks him about his past relationships. She finds out that Chris is seeing someone, and it turns out that person is her own mother. She gets jealous of how well they get along and ruins their date. Chris has to stay with them for the night because his clothes get dirty. Kyla can't take her eyes off Chris while they are having dinner. She can't stand to see her mom and Chris flirting, so she goes back to her room. She knows that her mom and Chris will be making out. Kyla tries to ruin their moment by telling a lie and acting scared that someone was watching her change in her room. She wants her mother and Chris to be with her so they don't get laid. There, Chris tells her that Riley is hanging out with Trisha, even though she told Riley not to. The next morning, Chris offers to take Kyla to school since he is going there after picking up Riley. While they wait for Riley to come, Kyla flirts with Chris and tells him that she is an adult now and can do anything she wants. Riley joins them as they talk, and then they all go to school. At school, Kyla talks to Riley about how she went out with Trisha even though she told Riley that Trisha was using her to get to Riley's dad. But Riley tells her that Trisha says Kyla, not her, was the one who slept with their history teacher. Kyla says that the accusation is false and acts rudely toward Riley, which makes Riley leave. Later, Kyla goes up to Trisha and tells her to stay away from Riley or she'll get hurt. But Trisha doesn't care what she says and won't back down. Also. Kyla takes photos of herself in private poses that night. When Kyla opens her locker the next day, she sees that it is full of the pictures she took the night before. She goes straight to Chris, who tells her that he will find out who did this. Riley sees them, but he doesn't bother them. After that, Kyla and Riley make up with each other and say they're sorry. 
Kyle also says that she was tricked into sleeping with the history teacher. Kyla's mother is getting ready to meet Chris, as we can now see. When Chris is in the bathroom, Kyla looks at his phone and finds private, suggestive messages from Trisha. When Kyla's mother reads the notes, she thinks Chris is using his students. Then, Chris's girlfriend's mother tells him to leave. Kyla, on the other hand, is happy because her mother is finally out of her way. She then goes to Chris, who is sitting in his truck and trying to figure out what happened. Kyla walks in and starts to flirt with Chris. She gets him to fall in love with her, and they kiss passionately. Chris can't keep fighting her any longer, so he gives in. Kyla is very happy because she finally got what she wanted. Then it turns out that Kyla, pretending to be Trisha, was the one who sent those messages to Chris. Chris has no idea what to do in class the next day. Still trying to flirt with Chris, Trisha is stopped by Kyla. In the meantime, the police come to the class and take Trisha away after finding the phone Chris used to send those messages and the pictures of Kyla in the locker. Kyla goes to the party later that night and gives her some gifts. Then she goes straight to Chris's room and starts trying to get him to like her. Chris is still trying to avoid Kyla's advances, but he eventually gives in and they start making love. Riley walks in just as they are about to have sex and sees them together. She doesn't like what she sees and runs away. Chris tries to stop her, but it's too late. She's already gone. Chris decides to go after her, but Kyla stops him by telling him Riley is an alcoholic. He doesn't care about her and goes to find Riley. Riley tells Kyla's mother everything that happened the night before when she sees her the next morning. Chris tries to make up with Riley at school, but Riley isn't in the mood. After class, Kyla's mom talks to Chris and gives him a slap. She takes Kyla with her when she leaves. Kyla tells her mother that she is old enough to date anyone she wants and that she and Chris are in love. Riley goes up to Chris and asks him why he did what he did. Chris tells Riley that he is sorry for everything and that he will no longer see Kyla. Riley finally lets him off the hook. The next day, Kyla calls Trisha and asks to meet up with her before school. Kyla tells Trisha that she set her up and then starts hitting herself. She even hurts herself to set Trisha up. When Riley and Chris get there, Kyla screams for help and says that Trisha hurt her. The police then take Trisha into custody and Kyla goes to the hospital. Riley and Chris go to the hospital, where Riley tells Kyla that she and her father are no longer together. Kyla looks like she agrees. She then asks Riley to take care of her yearbook duties for a basketball game that night because she hurt her hand. Riley agrees to do so. Kyle also asks Riley if she can say goodbye to her dad and talk to him one last time. After Riley leaves, Kyla tells Chris that they can finally be together now that Trish was gone. But Chris tells her that they are no longer together and that she should leave him alone. Kyla is completely obsessed with Chris, and she wants to get closer to him. Kyla tells him she will never leave him and reminds him that he has to see her every day in class. So, Chris quits his job to get away from her, and he goes back to the classroom to get his things. Kyla runs away after taking a scalpel from the hospital. At school, Kyla confronts Riley and tells her that only one of them can be in Chris's life. She then stabs Riley in the stomach. She goes to Chris's class next. She puts the scalpel to his throat and tells him that they belong together. After that, Kyla says that she, not her previous teacher, was the one who was manipulating her. Riley is still alive and is trying to get help. Chris gets Kyla to move off of him. Chris hits his head on the table after Kyla attacks him, and he passes out. When a janitor hears the noise, he walks over to Kyla, who is acting hurt and asking him to get help. Riley tells the janitor to run away as he tries to get help, but Kyla catches him and kills him. Because of this, the two get into a fight, which Riley wins in the end. Riley and Kyla are both taken away from the scene by police in separate ambulances. Riley is shocked to find out that Kyla is still alive, though. After a few months, Chris and Riley move to a new place. Chris is ready to start a new teaching job and Riley is looking forward to her first day of college. But as Riley is driving to college, we see a figure with a hood come out of hiding. We think this is Kyla. This means that she is still following Chris obsessively. 
That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, turn on notifications, and like the video to help the channel.